Ladies and gentlemen, Saturday morning it is, and we received two packages, Amazon, camera, and some attachments for this beautiful beast in front of me, so we're gonna look if we have one. So yeah, guys, that's Peppa Pig on the background, for the little man of course, you know, he amuses himself with Peppa Pig, I think all dads know that Peppa Pig is part of their life. Well, they have not been asking for that. It automatically happens. So yeah, let's start. Amazon, power your life, rough power. This is basically batteries for the Sony. I sold my camera, I sold my old microphone, and all these things that I sold were actually part of the natural bodybuilding documentary that I actually made. So it's kind of a pity that I I, I I get rid of them though, you know, because they're icons, <laughs> in, in my opinion, but I could make someone else happy with that, you know, and I could, could, I could stare my whole life to that microphone and camera thinking, oh, it was uh, for the natural bodybuilding documentary stuff, but, you know, if I can uh, make somebody happy with that, and that's exactly what I did. So, yeah, why not, right? Next thing, the big box. Man, I'm getting myself a lot of camera supplies as of lately. Microphone. The DD microphone comes in in a very nice pouch. Oh, yeah. This feels robust. There you got it. So not only we now have the amazing video camera, but we also have amazing audio this is this is cool stuff guys i freaking love it so better content better quality improved what do you guys want more i know exactly what you want what you want ladies and gents is a new natural bodybuilding documentary well guess what we're working on that What's cracking guys? So we are now running on the microphone. I hope you hear a difference. I bet you will. It is more focused right now and you don't see it in the camera. So that's a good thing. And last but not least, Magnum. White chocolate and cookie. Want some? I guess so. It's gone. He's ecstatic. Look at it. <laughs> Damn. Okay, guys. The moment of truth. Let's go. Let's go. More. Mmm. Woohoo! Sugars! You're worrying about sugars, bro? We are not. Mm. This is what happens if you are in the contest preparation. Comes and goes. 
contest prep, bro. In about six months, I will feel like that. Yes. All right, guys. So currently watching the Natural Bodybuilding World Championships. This is my class up to 175. Pretty, pretty good line it right here. Congrats, Polivios de Legianis, for setting up this World Championships. Shout out to you, bro. So they pick out the top five here. Need to work on those legs, man. Bruh. It's great to look at this stuff, you know, because uh, puts everything in perspective uh, again. And need to work on those uh, wheels. Next year, next year. We still got one year to go for the World Championships. Got a ton of work to do, man. These Germans, these Bulgarians, these Hungarians, these guys are, are top notch, sick. But I come for you. Alright, fellas. Back in the office. Let's go. It's almost 3 p.m. Just had my shake. Now in the office, working on the new lookbook of Bimaldi. Great things are happening. Because we've been featured on the GQ website and magazine, which has you know a lot of followers and uh, people who buy that magazine. Uh, in, in, in the UK and in other countries as well. And you know, Bimoli has been featured right now. Uh, it's amazing. So we are on the website of GQ. Whenever we are going to GQ shops, boom, there you have it. When we scroll down, so it's actually nice that they have featured our image of Bimoli. And when we scroll down, boom, there we have it. It's right there. High end lounge with Bobby Moldy. That's freaking amazing, of course, to be featured on the GQ because it's it's you know top notch uh, magazine stuff, and uh, yeah, very pleased with this. So we'll see what happens next with this. We also got our, another interview done with Fashion United. So a uh, little by little, you know, we're taking little steps, but uh, along the way we are getting to some interesting stuff. So now working on the new lookbook, as you can see, you know. We all make it by ourselves in design. This is part of the older lookbook. We're gonna implement new photos within this book and uh, everything that comes with it. So uh, it will be a complete revisited book, of course, with the new collection. So uh, some work to be done. So yeah guys, one of the typical meals, sometimes I just feel like, you know, making something else. So this time it's nasi, nasi, nasi kip satay. I hope it's, it's kind of tasteful, but we'll see. Taste test, taste test. Chicken satay. Approved. So sometimes guys, you know, we are currently working on the Woolly Bodies course. And in the late night, it's like uh, a.m. And sometimes you just feel great. You feel the body working. You feel your muscles pumping. You feel the veins kicking ass. This is exactly what is happening right now. We got our half made lining here. So, this is what I mean. Whenever I'm feeling this, the body is working out. It means the shreds are coming back. I'll be back in shape soon. I'm now eating the leftovers of the recipe that I yesterday made. The nasi goreng with the chicken satay. Hey, are you laughing? You probably ask, hey Rico, how do you uh, do that? You know, uh, whenever I cook, and to have uh, leftovers, how do I calculate it in? Or how do I mix the food and, and cook for the family though? In order to do that, you need to make sure that you have done the weighing uh, stuff, the weighing part on the weighing scale, of course. And when you know how much it is raw, I mix all the ingredients together. I even out the whole mixture in the pan. 
or on the lid. And uh, then I divide it just with a knife. And then I know exactly which is my portion. I uh, recalculate everything. <laughs> We calculate everything, put it on a wage scale, and, and I do it like that. It's a little bit more hassle, but I, but I always know, no matter what recipe is lying in the refrigerator, that I can always eat whatever I want. So for this particular meal, I needed to make extra, uh, extra peanut sauce. So I calculated that in. Um, I weighed off my rice. Uh, so I'm gonna divide it by 2.5. And uh, the chicken was uh, 190 grams, but it was cooked, of course. So how I would do it, I will say uh, I have raw chicken, 225 grams, assuming that I was losing a little bit of water during the cooking. Uh, and the rice was 360, and I would divide it by 2.5, because whenever you cook rice, the multiplication is uh, 2.5 of raw rice or uh, three. So it's somewhere between those two. And I always pick 2.5 so that I make sure that I account for a little bit more rice. So uh, whenever you do uh, multiplying these raw rice conversion to uh, um, cooked rice, always pick the 2.5. No matter if you've seen 3.0 coming along as a, multi as a multiplier, Pick 2.5 just to make sure. So, and the day in this meal is lovely. You like it?